my brothers and sisters, do not enroll a widow unless she is over 60 years of age, having been the wife of one man, well reported for good works, if she has brought up children, if she has lodged strangers, if she has washed the feet of the set apart ones, if she has assisted the afflicted, if she has closely followed every good work, but refuse the younger widows for when they become headstrong against the Messiah, they desire to marry, having guilt because they set aside their first belief. Moreover, they learn to be idle, going about from house to house, and not only idle, but also gossips and busybodies speaking what is improper. So I resolve that the younger widows marry, bear children, manage the house, giving no occasion to the adversary for reviling, for already some have turned aside after Satan. If any believing man or woman has widows, let such assist them and do not let the assembly be burdened in order to assist those who are truly widows. Let the elders who rule well be counted worthy of double respect, especially those who labor in the word and teaching. For the scripture says, you shall not muzzle an ox while it treads out the grain, and the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not receive an accusation against an elder except from two or three witnesses. Reprove those who are sinning in the presence of all so that the rest also might fear. I earnestly witness before Allahim and the master Yahushua Messiah and the chosen messengers that you watch over these matters without prejudice doing none at all with partiality. Do not lay hands on anyone hastily, nor share in sins of others. Keep yourself clean. No longer drink only water, but use a little wine for your stomach's sake and your frequent ailments. The sins of some men are obvious, leading on to judgment, but those of some men follow later. In the same way, the good works are obvious, while it is impossible to conceal those that are otherwise. Shalom.